Hello everybody and welcome back here to our FM21 beta series with Ajax. Today to kick off the episode we have the Champions League first knockout round draw so we get to see who we will be facing when the competition returns. Following that we have a Dutch Cup game against Den Haag and then we return to league action with an exciting matchup against Utrecht. So without further ado, we're going to kick it off with that draw. So obviously there are a bunch of good teams left in the competition. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll just quickly scroll through. Yeah, quite a few good teams in here. So we're going to go ahead and draw all the teams. And we actually get a very nice draw. We get... RB Salzburg, the Austrian team that obviously plays in Salzburg. So that gives us a very favorable matchup to advance to the second round. And honestly, it really could not have gotten any better than that. Looking at the teams in here, really the only other teams would have been Porto and Shakhtar. So a really good matchup for us. And we're going to be facing off against them on February 23rd. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch over here to our schedule view. We have played a couple of games since last time. So first up was SC Herenveen. A 4-0 victory over them in the league. Promes, Huntelar, Tadic, and Bande. All getting the goals for us in that game. We then took on Man City in the final game of the group stage. And it ends in a goalless draw there. Both teams didn't really have anything to play for except pride. And we were actually the better team in this game. We just weren't able to find a way to get the ball in the back of the net. So I'm happy with a 0-0 draw in that game. Then the latest game was a 5-1 victory over Sparta. Quincy Promise with a first half hat trick. And Anthony getting a brace in that game as well. Lovely to see Anthony getting on the goal sheet in that game. Hasn't been lighting up the score sheet, but I, I think that says more about the match engine and my formation and tactics. So happy to see him contribute in that game. Here is a look at the league table. Still top of the table and still fighting it out against Otze. Still same points as us, but in second due to goal difference. I'm looking forward to when we eventually take them on. So we have the Den Ha game in just a couple of days time. So I'll go ahead and get up to that game. We should be advancing in this game. They're currently 16th in the area to VC. So they are struggling this year. And hopefully... We can take advantage of that with a rotated squad. Alright, here is a look at the team to take on Den Haag in the Dutch Cup today. Stecklenburg is in for Onana. Martinez ensures at center back. Kleiber at right back. Labiad comes in for Dusan Tadic. And Huntelar comes in to lead the line. So without further ado... Let's go ahead and get this matchup underway. And we're underway here. Let's go Ajax. First highlight of the game. Ajax on the ball off of a throw in. Promise picks out Klassen back to Promise. He works it well to get off his shot. And he forces the keeper into a save and he spills it. No one was there to follow it up. Turns it over after kicking it out. And we played up the Promise, who has another chance. And he's not able to convert it this time. Another highlight. Ajax on the ball once again. Labiad picks out Huntelar, who holds it up well, plays it over to Promise, cuts inside. Oh, you would have put your money on him scoring there. It gets blocked. David Neres, who passes it to Davy Claussen, who fires it in there for, surprisingly, his first goal of the season. And Ajax 1-0 up, 36 minutes gone. It actually got blocked by Huntelar there. Good composure for Nerez, picking out Klassen. 
Great goal from Klassen as well. And we're straight into another highlight. Looking to make it two quick fire goals now. Kleiber has his cross blocked. And again, Den Haag just boots it forward and we pick it up off of it. Straight back into an attack. Oh, this time Davy Klassen passes it to David Neres who gets the goal. Repaying Neres just a couple minutes later. 2-0 to Ajax now. Looks like the game could get away from Den Haag now. And we make it in the halftime with a nice 2-0 advantage over Den Haag. Definitely been the better of the two teams. And you can see that on the XG. Den Haag not threatening us at the moment. Keep this up in the second half and we will be moving on to the third round. Made a couple of substitutions at halftime and we're straight into a highlight in the second half. Can one of our substitutes get on the, the score sheet here? Triori was looking for it and I think we have just won a penalty. Um, I would have made Stecklenburg take it but it didn't give me the option. Huntelaar will step up to take it and he easily converts that. 3-0 to Ajax now. Easy, easy stuff. Highlight here, can Den Haag create something? No, we win it off of their goal kick. Timber looking to create another opportunity here. He has just won that penalty before. Oh, our passing let us down right there. But Den Haag eventually get the ball under control here and are looking to bring it forward for the first time. Ooh, that cross gets cut out by Clausen and Ajax on a counterattack now. Oh, go on, David. Go on, Neres. Oh, that would have been a fantastic counterattack. The keeper does well to save that. Neres takes the corner, gets headed out. Labiad picks up the loose ball, and we're trying to work it back in the box. Oh, Martinez loses out right here. Den Haag now looking to counterattack us. And I think they're about to score, and they do. Not very good from Martinez there, losing out on that ball. And we get punished for it. 3-1 now. Let's get our heads back in the game, boys. Oh no. David Neres picks up an injury in the 83rd minute here. And I've already made my three substitutions. I was under the impression that we would have five substitutions as... The league is five substitutions, so yeah, that very much sucks for uh, two reasons. Nera is, is obviously injured, and we can't replace him. Klassian Huntelar also has a knock as well, so not ideal. Wow, what a goal by Dante Rigo right here has come from out of nowhere, picks up that ball from Triore, goes around Klassen and absolutely hits that from out of nowhere. And we have a game on our hands now for the last couple minutes. And we hold on for a 3-2 win. Um, pretty disappointing that we were 3-0 up and we concede two goals. Hopefully the injury to Nerez and Huntelar aren't too bad. We'll have to take a look at that after the team talk here. So David Nerez picks up pulled knee ligaments and is going to be out for three weeks. Not super ideal. He'll definitely miss the next two games. Then after that, we should have a little bit of a break for the winter break. Yes, we do. So he should be able to return for a big matchup against Atze. So we'll just have to make do for the next two games. Uh, the game against Utrecht is going to be a tough one. They are currently in third. But we have plenty of attacking options. So hopefully we'll be able to cover for him in that game. Huntelar is only out for a couple of days with a bruised ankle. He'll be ready to go. But yes, let me go ahead and get up to that Utrecht game and bring you guys back for that. Well, we come back before the Utrecht game because we have the third round draw. 
Let's see who we will be facing in the third round. All right, we get a second division team, Hellstar. They're down in mid-table, sitting in 10th position in the Cook and Kampion Divisi. So a nice matchup, and we should be advancing to the next round in that game. And we are back for the Utrecht game now. We have rotated our first choices back in. Dusan Tadic is out with a cold. So we have moved things around a little bit. Anthony moves out to the right-hand side. Lacina Traore comes in at striker. And Labiad stays in at attacking midfielder from the Dutch Cup game. All right, let's go ahead and get this big matchup underway at the Johan Cruyff Arena. First versus third. And here we go. Straight into a highlight, actually, too. Ajax on the ball here, playing it out of defense in the Ajax way. Mazwari. Oh, he plays it in the Triore. Can he get a goal? And he does. He gets a quick goal just after the minute passes. It was about a minute 10 on the clock. Lastina Triore gets a goal in his first start of the season. Wow. What a start to this game. Lacina Traore keeping his composure there. Let's go. Utrecht on the ball here. Or what they were. Uh, they uh, just boot it forward and Tagliafico easily gets that. Quincy Promise now looking to create something. It falls to Anthony. Uh, a bit of sloppy play here from Ajax, but we're still on the ball. Maswari then has a cross blocked. Utrecht bringing it forward, but Maswari does well and gets back. And we are now looking to bring it forward once again. Quincy Promise on this left-hand side. Oh, was looking to beat a man. Gets it tackled off of him, but he wins it back. And we are playing it very well here, and that is an easy goal for Anthony after Davy Klassen's shot gets blocked and falls straight to Anthony. 2-0 to Ajax now, just 18 minutes gone. Things are looking very, very good for us in this game. And we're into another highlight, but Onana has a poor pass from the goal kick, and we get punished for it. Utrecht strike back after a mistake from us. Onana with a poor pass right there. Need to do better there. Keep our concentration levels up, guys. And Utrecht again on the ball here. If we concede a second goal right now, I will not be very happy. And we do clear it away. Quincy Promise bringing it forward now, looking for options. And his pass gets picked off. And wow, another mistake from Ajax here. Maswari this time passing it straight to a Utrecht player and Onana with a big save. Gotta defend a corner now, which we do. But our concentration levels look to have gone. Another highlight with Utrecht on the ball. Very concerning how many opportunities and highlights Utrecht are now getting. Looks like we have switched off, and wow, no one stepped up to pressure him, and he gets off an open shot. Thankfully, he's not able to keep it on target this time, but we need to do better there. Throw in for Ajax just a couple minutes before halftime. Can we get a goal here, Quincy? Oh, he really needs to be finishing those opportunities right here. Would have been a fantastic Goal for us right on the brink of halftime. It was a great ball in. And Promise not able to finish that opportunity. We're still on the ball and a cross blocked again by an Utrecht player. Luckily for us, we are still on the ball here. Oh, we get in the way of each other. Oh, and Lacina Traore should have got his second goal of the game. It gets blocked out for a corner. And the corner is dealt with by Utrecht, and we go into halftime here. Just a one-goal advantage for Ajax. 
We've definitely been the better of the two teams, at least statistically, but Utrecht seem like they are getting into the game more and more. Alright, a couple of substitutions. Uh, Nachi Univar on for Labiad, and Martinez on for Daily Blend. Do we want to make any others at the moment? Not at the moment. We're going to keep it just like this. And now we'll make a couple more substitutions. Victor Jensen on for Quincy Promise. And Sean Kleiber on for Mazwari. And final substitution, Eklund Camp for Davy Klassen. Not what we want to see, a highlight with Utrecht on the ball. Oh no, where's our defense at? Good job tracking back and getting there. Come on, boys. Oh, that's a poor pass from Victor Jensen. Come on, guys. Let's hold out. Utrecht still on the ball here. Trying to find a way through our defense. Oh, Onana. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We have just gifted them a goal. Again. Onana does well surprisingly to come and get this and then sean kleiber why would you pass it back right there why would you do that not good guys not good we do have a highlight here ajax on the ball can we find a very late winner in this game now yes tagliafico let's whip it in here he does whip it in it gets blocked off though and Utrecht bringing it forward now. Where is our defense? Oh, wow. That could have very easily been a goal for Utrecht. And it's going to finish in a tie. It does. The full-time whistle is blown. We have gifted two goals to Utrecht in this game. And it ends in a 2-2 draw. Not good enough from the boys out there today. Very disappointing. So after that performance, we are still top of the table, at least temporarily. Odds they still have their game to play. If they get a victory on that one, they will go two points clear of us. Very disappointing. We were 2-0 up and conceded two goals from two very sloppy mistakes from us. So definitely a disappointing result in that sense. So we'll go ahead and hit continue here, and next episode... We're obviously going to come back for this big odd Zay matchup after we return from the winter break. And the second game, we're going to play against PSV. So next episode should be an exciting one where hopefully we will be bouncing back with two victories. But until next time, it's been your Boyd 147.